everyone, my name is Aislinn Kane and I'm the digital content creator for A Moment of Magic's Foundation. A little bit about me, I'm originally from Decatur, Alabama and I graduated from Birmingham Southern College in May of 2021 with a Bachelor's of Arts in Musical Theater and a minor in Business Administration. This, I create content for our social media channels um, where I come up with the content calendar for the month to really highlight everything that a moment of magic does and all of the amazing things that our volunteers do and contribute nationally. I go through all of the shared footage and photos that the chapters have shared so that I can make them into social media content. Um, so continue sharing and taking as many photos and videos of everything you do for a moment of magic so that you can be featured on our national social pages. Um, I primarily focus on working with a moment of magic staff and mostly working with coordinating with Kylie. Um, and I would love to start communicating with the chapters directly. Um, I would love to hear y'all's ideas or if y'all have any feedback of what you would like to see on the national scale. Um, I'm so excited for this year. My goals this year is to continue growing the A Moment of Magic community online through uh, digital engagement and also see growth in um, all of y'all's chapters and potentially new chapters. Um, I'm so excited to see all of the work that y'all are going to do this year and so grateful to be working with the moment of magic. I can't wait to accomplish all these amazing things with everyone this year. Um, best of luck with second semester and for the rest of the year. Hi, my name is Howard Ruffello. Originally I'm from the Bronx, New York, but now I am living in Jersey City, New Jersey. I am the project manager for Moment of Magic. In 2021, I was in search for an opportunity to empower communities in need during this pandemic, and I came across a MoMA of magic. Um, so far, my experience with the team and, and what I have learned has been amazing. I have previously volunteered with nonprofit organizations like the Food Bank of New York, uh, the Board of Family and Children's Services, I was also a lead change maker at Chiseido Cosmetics, where I previously worked as a digital shared specialist for customer experience projects. As a project manager for a Moment of Magic, I am in charge of overseeing um, new and ongoing programming and innovation. This encompasses in-person programming, virtual programming, the Bravery Bags initiative, and, and so much more. Currently, I'm meeting with different members of the team to discuss growth areas and, and create long-term and short-term plans to meet our 2022 goals. I have my bachelor's in fashion marketing and management at Berkeley, and on a full-time basis, I'm working as a project manager for a major fashion apparel group. I'm also a certified Google project manager and a certified scrum master. There's so many goals this year, but I pinpointed to three main goals. Um, I want to really, one, establish partnerships to diversify Amoma's unlimited content. Such an amazing initiative, by the way. Secondly, I want to establish new partnerships with organizations that can provide products and services that will really help offset the cost of programming. Lastly, I hope to review the current practices to help make them more run more efficiently. Um, really looking at you know how we can be more innovative, more cost effective. Together, these goals are really going to help Amoma's mission to help underserve children in need and allow them to continue to be brave and strong during um, these difficult times. Um, I get to work closely with everyone on the team, but if you have any questions specific to initiatives and ongoing projects, you can Slack me or you can email me at hawa at a moment of magic org. If you have any questions, general questions, you can refer to info at a moment magic org. Hello everyone, my name is Ileana Herrera. I am the volunteer relations advisor here at a moment of magic. I am from Phoenix, Arizona, and that is currently where I still live. 
I found a moment of magic back in 2017 when the original founding chapter president of the University of Arizona approached me and asked me to be a member on her executive board when she was filling out the application. I had no idea initially what this organization was, what it did. All she told me is that we dressed up as Disney characters and got to go visit children and I was on board for it. My goals as the volunteer relations advisor is always every year it's always to make sure that all the volunteers feel especially welcomed so what i personally do i like to call myself kind of the high school counselor of a moment of magic on the national level so what i do is ensure that there's a proper amount of resources for all the volunteers at that level as well as help make sure that there is appropriate conflict resolution that if they can't be solved at the chapter level that i can help step in Volunteers can specifically reach me at the chapter relations at a moment of magic.org email. I do have my phone number at the signature as well, so people can also contact me through that. Hi, my name is Maddie Stanton Johnson, and I am the National Character Training Advisor for A Moment of Magic, and I am also one of the Character Integrity Chairs. I'm originally from Maryland and I am a Coastal Carolina University alum, so I got my start with AMOM back in college. Um, in my day-to-day non-AMOM life, I am a dolphin trainer at Gulf World Marine Park. So AMOM, I always say, is something that chose me. I didn't exactly choose it. I heard about it on campus my freshman year when our founding chapter president was getting things going. And it was really exciting. I was interested. Of course, I had seen the Elite Daily video, um, but I always said, like, I can't get too involved. Like, I'm very busy. Lots, lots of stuff. I got to study. I can't get too involved. But very quickly, I just sort of, like, became consumed and super involved with it. And it, I just haven't gone back since. So my position covers the training content and helping maintain character integrity through that. So. I help design our training, everything from like the individual like written content to the videos that you guys see. And then I also work with all of the training coordinators at all of the chapters nationwide to make sure that they are able to give each individual character the training that they need to maintain something called the rule of one. And that's one of the mouse's phrases for it doesn't matter whether you see an Elsa from our New York chapter or, or, or an Elsa from our West Virginia chapter, it's the same Elsa. My goals, my everything comes down to making magic for these kids by really bringing these characters to life. Our ability to make magic for kids, kids are so smart. Kids are so smart and the kids that we service are the most deserving of what we do and so by maintaining the character integrity by making sure that all of our members are trained and are comfortable on visits no one's stressing over am i do i look good enough do i you know am i tall enough for this am i am i having the right posture it becomes so second nature that it allows our characters to truly be present with the kids which is the most important thing and it allows the kids to really be immersed with this character that they've only ever dreamed about or read about or seen a movie and it is something that never could happen and yet is happening right here before their eyes so it's it's really important and i'm very thankful to be able to do it Hi, my name is Ali Coppage. I'm from Virginia and I am the Hospital and Nonprofit Relations Chair for A Moment of Magic. Um, I'm also a student at James Madison University and I'm the Vice President at the JMU Chapter. Uh, I've been a part of A Moment of Magic since the JMU Chapter started in 2019 and I have loved every moment of being a part of this organization. Uh, in my position as Hospital and Nonprofit Relations Coordinator, I help facilitate partnerships with hospitals and nonprofits as a national organization, as well as helping chapters build relationships with local hospitals and nonprofits. One of the main things that I do and I've been doing um, is organizing the hospital and nonprofit live streams, and I'm really hoping to do a lot more of those this year. I started in this position because I have been the JMU Magic Experience Coordinator since we started and I really wanted to use the skills that I had gained in that position to help us grow as a national organization. 
Um, my main two goals this year are, like I said, to get more hospital live streams going and also to make sure that all of the Magic Experience coordinators feel really comfortable reaching out to and forming relationships with local hospitals and nonprofits. Um, I'm part of the visit team, so I mostly work with the National Programming Advisor and the Family Relations Chair, who is Bridget Rogers, and the visit team interns as well. Um, so if you have any questions about hospital live streams or hospital and nonprofit outreach at the national or at the chapter level, you can come to me on Slack or you can send me an email at partnerships at a moment magic.org. If you have more general visit and programming questions, those should go to the programming advisor because they're the one who's going to have the most accurate up-to-date information. Um, and like I said, one of my big goals this year is to make sure that all of the chapters feel really comfortable forming relationships with local hospitals and nonprofits. And I'm really excited to work with the MECs and the chapter presidents to help make that happen. Um, thanks. Hi, my name is Bridget Rogers and I am the National Team's Family Relations Committee Chair. Originally, I am from Massapequa, New York, but I'm currently in Columbus, Ohio for school. I'm a junior at The Ohio State University, where I'm also involved in our chapter of A Moment of Magic. Uh, I found a mom my freshman year at the OSU Involvement Fair, and I've been super passionate and involved ever since. As Family Relations Committee Chair, I work as a part of the national visit team on different aspects of visit coordination. I also work on different projects, as my title would imply, regarding our family relationships. One of the important projects I've been working on recently is our family audit, where we have collected data regarding the demographics of the families that we've worked with over the years. Uh, we'll utilize this data to further improve our services going forward. I also have three amazing committee members who I have shared some of my other responsibilities with. If you or your chapter's MEC ever needs to get in contact with me, I can be reached through Slack or at my email, which is families at a moment of magic .org. Going forward in 2022, I hope to foster strong relationships with all of the families we work with and further improve our services to, di to directly address the needs of our families. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Thanks. I am the costuming advisor and also on the character integrity uh, committee. I have been doing costumes since I was in eighth grade and I was costume coordinator all three years that I was at Coastal while we had a chapter. Communicating with me um, will happen mostly by the costume coordinators. I will talk to them regularly but I will also talk to the chapter presidents and other members as needed. It is best to always co contact your costume coordinator first and they will reach out to me. That way I don't have hundreds of people trying to reach out to me. It's just one liaison. But if it's an emergency, if you need to get in contact with me, the best way to do it in an emergency setting is to call me. As long as I am near my phone and able, I will answer. Um, I answer pretty much all phone numbers. You can also send me a text, but I'm more likely to take a little bit of time to get back to you on that one. Other ways to get in contact with me is through Slack as well as my email. Going forward this year, I have a couple goals. Uh, I want to make sure everyone has appropriate winter wear. I know some of you guys are in places where it's very cold and I don't need you going out in <laughs> um, Tinkerbell's outfit in freezing weather. It's not safe. <laughs> so we want to make sure all of our characters, new and old, have appropriate winter wear. I also want to start incorporating all of the new characters from Encanto into our cast. So that includes making sure that all of their costumes are ready and completely up to our standard. And I also want to make sure that we have a good solid inventory for all of our chapters. That is it about me and I look forward to working this year with you guys and I'm excited to see what we'll do. Hey everyone, my name is Carl Brilliant. I am the chapter liaison for our Moment of Magic Foundation. Essentially, 
what I do for my job is I work as the chapter liaison, meaning that I am the intermediary between nationals and the rest of you. My goals for this year are really to try to kind of bridge the gap between nationals and uh, the chapters in terms of communication, uh, creating a good feedback loop, understanding where chapters are holistically so that we can kind of put in place programs and strategies to kind of help you all grow and expand. Uh, I've been doing this kind of work for quite some time, uh, uh, whether that's in uh, my work through my fraternity with the Florida College Democrats, with uh, Operation Give Back, you know, a lot of programs that I've done in my collegiate career and otherwise have really put me in a position poised to kind of like connect with all of you and meet you guys where you are, which is to me the most important thing. So my communication style is normally I try to discuss things through email, but I try to get back on Slack like as quick as I possibly can. Um, normally I need like a day or two uh, when it comes to like emails, but I know depending on the kind of day I'm having, I can try to get through as quick as possible. In my opinion, if you really need me for something pressing, just try to schedule a meeting with me. I normally am free literally every day in the evening and also pretty much every day in the weekend because I normally just kind of stay home. I'm like a real big homebody. Um, so my goals for the position are just really just kind of like national and chapter unification, but also more importantly, kind of diversifying uh, a lot of what we do here at AMOM. You know, I think there uh, we are poised and put in a position to kind of help a lot of like underprivileged, um, especially in the more diverse communities that we have around the United States where programs like this just really just don't exist. And if we can kind of put ourselves in the position to kind of help um, everyone, uh, that we are capable of helping. I think that's really important. Um, so I don't think I have like a lot of frequently asked questions. I think I get like a wide variety of uh, questions. Um, and normally if you guys need anything or need to be kept abreast of something, I try my best to put it in the calendar so people can kind of know what to do. But um, if anybody has any questions that they want to shoot me, please just shoot me an email and I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks, y'all. I really appreciate it. Hi everyone, my name is Becca Harry and I am the National Information Advisor for A Moment of Magic. I am currently in my senior year at Western Michigan University um, and I'm from a suburb of Chicago, Illinois. I found out about A Moment of Magic when I was in high school. I had a friend who was a year older than me and she came to Western a year before I did and she joined a moment of magic and i would see her post on instagram and all of her social media a lot of different posts about a moment of magic and it's one of the reasons why i actually came to western and was the first organization i joined on campus so for my position i do a lot of the behind the scenes work i track all of the agreements flu shot records and covid vaccination cards through the volunteer database i make a lot of the edits and changes on the website and I also manage Slack, um, specifically adding characters to their character chats and making sure everyone is in the national news and has their profile completed. I make sure all of our volunteers are approved and safe and healthy before going to visit any of the children and families in our communities, as well as making sure all of our general volunteers and chapter e-boards know what their positions are and they have all of their requirements and information and know where to access them. So the best ways to reach me are either through Slack or you can send me an email at info at a moment of magic .org. So a couple of the goals that I have for 2022 are to revamp our website, specifically our volunteer portal, and make it easier to find different information and resources, as well as making it just overall easier to access for our general volunteers and also our chapter eboards. So a couple of my most frequently asked questions are, what if somebody doesn't want to get a flu shot? My response to that is, that's fine, that's their decision, but they have to understand that choosing not to get a flu shot or a COVID vaccine means that they are not able to attend any of our in-person visits with children and anyone in our communities. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video and learn a little bit more about me and my position. Um, and if you have any questions about anything that I talked about or want to say hi, you're welcome to email me or Slack me at any time. Hello, 
I am Mike. I am from Phoenix, Arizona, but I live in Boston right now. I am currently a master's student and dietetic intern at Tufts. Um, I found AMOM when I attended undergrad at the University of Arizona, and my current position with AMOM is business manager. I have done this now for two years and been lucky with some help to be successful. I was also the fundraising chair at the University of Arizona chapter and was able to be successful there as well. Um, my goals for the organization is to help it raise money to be able to stay financially solvent. People can come to me when they have a fundraiser they'd like to approve. There's a form you can fill out that I can send to you if you need it. If you have questions about setting up your chapter bank or financial account, I can assist with that. Um, if you just have questions about how to apply for a grant or want your application to be reviewed or just have some general fundraising questions, really anything related to money, uh, you can come ask me, you can email me um, or uh, Slack me. Uh, you can, I'll accept it from like the chapter presidents, the financial chairs or the fundraising chairs of each chapter. Um, so you can guys kind of work together on your chapter level to see what you need. So I look forward to working with you all this uh, upcoming year. Hi everyone, my name is Kylie McGrain and I'm the founder and executive director of A Moment of Magic Foundation. I grew up in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, which is a small town outside of Scranton, which honestly most people know from the office. And now I live in New York City with my fiance and my dog child, Riggins, who is a mini golden doodle named after Tim Riggins from Friday Night Lights. My full-time job is A Moment of Magic, which is honestly a dream come true. The organization started when I was a sophomore in college and I was 20 years old at the time. And I remember dreaming of the day where I'd be able to dedicate all of my time to helping the organization grow into what I truly believed it could be. As the executive director of A Moment of Magic, I wear a lot of hats, whether that's coordinating our largest fundraising efforts through grant writing or our events like the Night of Magic Gala, whether it's helping our team with new trainings, new ideas, new initiatives, programs, partnerships. I really try to focus my time and energy on running and leading the board of directors and our board of advisors and managing our staff who then work with you. My goal in the organization is really multifaceted. It's to provide volunteers with a really unique opportunity to serve their community in a hands-on and spirited way. It's to provide creative programming for free to children in need that directly and positively impacts the quality of life. And it's to make sure that we're sustainable. When we started the organization, we made a pinky promise to the children that we serve that we would be around for the long haul. And it is my mission to make sure that we can keep that promise. What I do is important because I'm essentially steering the ship of the organization. I get to work with so many different members of our team. I manage about 50 people outside of the chapter presidents and volunteers, just my internal staff with our board of advisors, our board of directors, and the team that we work with every single day. It is very challenging work, but it's also the most rewarding experience that I could ever hope to have and one of the greatest privileges in my lifetime. We have a lot of really big goals in the organization for 2022 and beyond. First and foremost, we want to continue to grow our chapter volunteers and our chapters in general by continuing to support them, but also doing a better job at recruiting, training, and focusing on how we can make sure that these partnerships are for the long haul and that our volunteers actually enjoy their experience in the organization. We want to enhance our current ideas, initiate new programs, and also better support those we serve. Our community is ever evolving and changing, especially in the time of COVID, and we want to be quick and nimble to support our community as needed as things change. We're going to continue placing a higher priority on diversity, equity, and inclusivity, both in our team and those that we serve. Personally, I really want to strengthen our AMOM board of directors. We are so lucky to have such a wonderful wide spanning and expertise group of individuals on our board of directors and it's time to see that continue to grow. Our board of directors really focuses on funding, governance, and strategy and having really really amazing people at the top helps us create a really 
impactful and successful atmosphere. And finally, we're gonna to continue to grow sustainably. We're focusing on that funding. We're focusing on our programming. Um, one of my biggest goals for this year, I love the gala and I love our chapter president conference. It is our goal to host both of those events in person again. And we have some things in the works that we can't wait to share with you guys. Um, including a new location for both the in-person conference and the Night of Magic Gala. So lots of exciting news to come, stay tuned. I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for what you do in the organization. We are so appreciative of everything that you do every single day, day in and day out. You make the mission possible and we are so grateful to have you on our team. So thank you.